Lumbini, Nepal, the birthplace of the Buddha. But I already visited the place, so today I am renting a tuk-tuk and I will visit some monasteries nearby. You see, because it's close to the birthplace of the Buddha, there is a great interest in building temples and monasteries nearby, and there is quite a few of them, and each of them is unique. So we are at gate number three. First we bought some ticket, or the driver, I guess, bought some ticket. Now he is talking to the guard and I believe he will proceed. Okay, I think we need to find out what this is. Well, obviously, this is a temple, but whose temple is it? Well, Buddhist temple, but who built it, that's what I mean. And here we have it. Nepal Vajrai Sana Mahavihar. Well, whatever it is, it was built recently, like all of those temples. Nothing's really ancient here. but it's built in traditional Nepalese style. Yep, typical Nepalese style, courtyard. And I guess as always, pictures not allowed. And it's a pretty, pretty big complex. Let's take in a 360-degree view. Very impressive pagoda in front of us. And another one to the left. Very, very nice. So I think I will go this way and we will see what we will see when we get up close. What I have noticed is that in China the Buddha is depicted or his statues show a jolly fat laughing man and everywhere else um, it's very different. Buddha is never fat. And what does it say here? Please remove your shoes here. Yep, that's always the case. I think I'm tired of removing my shoes. And I think I will have an opportunity to remove my shoes many, many times when I get to the next temple. What a beautiful lily pond. This place or space with the blue Buddha in the middle. It's kind of circled by what, like eight monasteries? Very close here. So I think this is the concept that they created. And this I gotta see up close. Let's go there. Pretty impressive gate. And what does it say? Please take care of your valuables and belongings. We decline any responsibility or liability. I have just learned that this temple was financed and built by German Buddhists. And this is quite surprising to me. Why? Well, when I think of Germany, many things come to mind, but Buddhism and Buddhists are not one of them. So Germany's Buddhist Tara Foundation built this temple and monastery and you can see they did a magnificent job. The building is quite famous for its paintings and murals, just, just look around. And the paintings depict Buddha and his message of non-violence and peace and it's very popular 
And I would say if you are in Lumbini and if you don't have much time, you should visit at least this temple and monastery. It's just magnificent. And they also have a beautiful garden around. Vinson Temple. Please remove your shoes here. And what does it say here? Linson Lumbini Temple Nepal. Silent, please. This looks to me like a temple built by Vietnamese Buddhists. Because there is something in Vietnamese and I see Vietnamese names on the paper. And here is some construction. It doesn't look finished, but I'm pretty sure it will be awesome when it's completed, painted, decorated. And here is a giant statue of Buddha. Actually, cannot see it right now, but he's pointing up to the sky. Kind of uh, unusual, at least for me. Haven't seen many statues like this. And he's pointing with the left hand, with the finger down to earth. So it must have definitely some meaning. Goodbye, Rinson Temple, Lumbini, Nepal. We will visit another temple. And this white building ahead of me is the World Center for Peace and Unity. It was established in 2011 by a Buddhist foundation with the support of Nepalese government and UNESCO. Unity, but Nepal. it's a non-sectarian temple. Nations around the world have been invited to build temples in the park. And this is one of the places that's kind of for all religions. What they say about it is that it's dedicated to those who want to truly understand peace and are willing to spread it to all parts of the world. And it provides meeting space, catering, accommodations for groups and organizations holding conferences or research seminars. It also offers a variety of programs for individuals, including yoga, meditation, dharma courses. The Karma Samtenling Monastery has a lovely garden and grounds. And fortunately for the meditators, it doesn't get many visitors because it is at the end of a long dead and dirt road. And here we have a drum, but of course, we shouldn't be touching it. And I think this is the dorm, the quarter where the monks live. I'm going to visit now one of the oldest stupas in Nepal. It's supposed to be 2600 years old and its name is Manang Samash Stupa. And as you can see, it's quite popular, people coming in, coming out. And for some reason, these guys, these pilgrims, wanted to take a picture with me and shoot a little video. I have no idea why, but probably because not many foreigners come here. So let's go in and let's check it out. Thank you. Thank you. Have a good day. No, thank you very much. The sign said, please remove your shoes here. But the group that was just walking out kept their shoes on. So I'll do the same because it's really hot. Namaste. How are you? Fine. <laughs> Good. It's a little bit hot today. Very hot. Very hot, yes. Since I am at a Buddhist temple, there are prayer wheels as usual. And as I mentioned uh, in another video, they contain, the, the hollow cylinder contains a tightly scrolled paper or other material full of printed or handwritten mantra. So of course I could not resist. I will spin the wheels and hopefully some good mantra will rub off on me. 
So it's a Nepali society center and a little temple inside. Oldest monastery in Lumbini, Royal Buddha Monastery in Nepal. Hmm. Okay. Dharma Swami Maharaja Buddha Vihara, land granted in 1968. Rashkia Buddha Vihar Lumbini. So the gate is open today. I was here yesterday evening. It was closed already. Wisdom eyes on the top. Here several little stupas. And they have a security over there. Pretty careful. Unbelievably hot. Hot and humid actually, that's the problem. This was the way out. And maybe this is the end of the video. Thank you for watching. See you next time. Goodbye.